Four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have a problem here. My record is very, very clear on providing assistance to any place in this country. In fact, my record is 100 percent. So I have some credibility to come to the floor to discuss this with my friend from Florida. I hope you listen. My heart goes out to those impacted by Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria the past several weeks. I'm committed to providing for federal response and recovery. I was pleased to support aid to those affected by Harvey and Irma and will continue to do so. We urgently need to deliver relief and assistance to those currently impacted by Hurricane Maria and in the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, where the entire island has lost power or many are without water. However, this bill today does not provide that needed relief. Let's be clear. We in New Jersey are not some Johnny-come-lately on disaster tax relief. This is not a question of you got yours and I want mine. We've been working on disaster tax issues since 2012, based in part of how we addressed helping victims of Hurricane Katrina more than a decade ago. Let me remind you, Hurricane Sandy devastated the northeastern United States in 2012, lost 233 lives, causing $75 billion in damages. At the time, it was the costliest storm after Hurricane Katrina. While Congress until then had routinely provided tax relief to communities in the wake of our worst storms, tax relief I'm talking about, Katrina, Rita, Wilma, victims of Hurricane Sandy did not receive the same treatment. In fact, we had to wait three months. We just did it in three days. We seem to have short memories. 179 Republicans in this body and 36 senators voted against aid to victims of Hurricane Sandy in 2013. That many. And today, those same members ask us to support not only aid for Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, but tax relief provisions which they never even considered after Hurricane Sandy. I, I was a yes vote the week before last for your aid, unequivocally. Why should I take it out on your citizens, the foolishness that happened in 2013? That would be wrong. And I think you feel the same way through the chair. This whole debate smacks of a, a certain hypocrisy. And I know I'm not the first to point it out. In the weeks after Sandy, I worked in a bipartisan manner to draft a tax relief bill that would make permanent the most common sense tax relief provisions to take politics out of the equation when it comes to disaster relief. And over the years, I worked with many of my colleagues, both sides of the aisle and both chambers of, cap of the Capitol. Our bill, the National Disaster Tax Relief Act, led also by Congressman Tom Reed of New York. Are you the gentleman of the minute? Thank you. Provides tax relief to victims of Hurricane Sandy and puts in place permanent provisions for all disaster areas going forward. I'm ready, waiting to debate these provisions and go through regular order. Let's have hearings. Let's have a markup. Let's have regular order on something that should be as non-controversial as helping those in need. But instead of taking a bipartisan approach, some of the majority have chosen to sneak in a few provisions taken from our bill and tack them on to an unrelated aviation bill. 
and apply them only to this year's hurricane victims, leaving out all of the disaster victims that have been waiting for support over the years. Front page of the story papers in New Jersey today, people are still not back in their homes from Sandy, 2013. That's not fair. It's not the American way. The specific provisions Republican leadership put in our, from our bill include bigger than usual property cap. Another 30 seconds. Speaker. Thank you. Bigger than usual property casualty loss deductions, penalty free retirement withdrawals. You may smile, but think about those people who are out of their homes since 2013. That's no laughing. That's no laughing matter, Mr. Chairman. An increased threshold for charitable giving, a tax credit for impacted employers, and flexibility in applying for the earned income tax credit and child tax credit. I would note that Puerto Ricans, despite being American citizens, are ineligible for the earned income tax credit. And I have a bill to correct this. The gentleman from Massachusetts Reserve. Thank you, Mr. Chair Chairman. Thank you, Mr. The Speaker, for Florida. your courtesies. Mr. Speaker, uh, no one was laughing at any 